Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Holo Head from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the stem above his head with a curve line upwards, diagonal line outwards to the left, curve line across to the right, turn it downwards, and turn it slightly to the left at this lower point. Below that, in the middle point, I'm gonna draw an arch shape right there, and at the side, a curve line to the right, and to the side of his face, curve line downwards, and turn it slightly inwards at this lower point. Now for the left side, I'm gonna draw a similar shape right there. And at the side of the stem, I'm gonna draw a curve line across on both the left and right. Now in the middle of his face, off center, I'm gonna draw a line downwards, diagonal curve line upwards at this upper point, diagonal curve line below that, and turn it downwards and a curve line across to the middle point of his face. Now for the outer corner of his eye, I'm gonna draw a wavy line outwards and diagonally up. Sharp turn to the right at this corner and semi good turn out to the left, semi good turn back to the right. Sharp turn outwards and curve it outwards. Wavy line to the tip of the flame, sharp turn back inwards with a wavy line and turn it downwards at this corner, sharp turn back up, sharp turn back down at this outer corner, wavy line all the way back to the outer corner at this lower point. I'm gonna copy that same shape again on the right side right here. And for his nose, I'm gonna take this point below the eye in the middle and draw a curve line downwards. Same as a good turn to the left, turn it back upwards with a curve line all the way back to the tip. I'm gonna mirror the same shape on the right side right here. And below that, in the middle point, I'm gonna draw a V shape. And I'm gonna copy that same shape across to the side on the right right here and turn it upwards at this outer corner sharp turn downwards and mirror the same zigzag line at this lower point as well and we're gonna do the same thing on the left side here And below the head, I'm gonna draw across a curve line at the middle point. Same as a turn downwards on the right side right there. Turn it outwards. Same as a turn diagonally back down and inwards. Sideways. Sharp turn back up. Diagonal turn to the left. Sharp turn back to the right with a curve line. And diagonal turn downwards to the middle point. On the left side of that, I'm gonna draw his collar with a diagonal curve line up, sharp turn back down, some zigzag line along the sides, and turn it back to the middle point. At the side of that, on the left here, I'm gonna draw a similar shape and turn it sideways to the outer corner. Copy the same shape again at this upper point and at the back here right there and on the right side I'm gonna draw a similar shape again and at this upper point 
and in between the two leaves and in the middle of each leaf I'm going to draw a curve line across in the middle point right there now for his face I'm going to draw some random curve line downwards along his face below his jaw right here and I'm gonna do the same thing in the middle of his face here and at the sides as well some below the eye right there and at the inner corner of his eye I'm gonna draw a curve line and turn it upwards I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side and in the middle of his eye a curve line across now for his outfit below I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at the side here for the sleeve of his vest and turn it slightly outwards at this lower point turn it inwards diagonally to the waist and turn it downwards to the belt at the side of the sleeve I'm gonna trace the same curve line across again at this inner corner and another one right there along that strap I'm gonna draw two lines across at its upper point and a buckle below that with a line across at the side semicircle line across downwards and line across in the middle of that semicircle line I'm gonna draw a circular shape right there and below at the side a line across and a semicircle line across downwards again and across now for his shoulder on the left I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards from the sleeve turn it downwards at the side right here and diagonally downwards sharp turn back to the right and turn it upwards same as a good turn back downwards sharp turn back up and sharp turn back down to the sleeve now for his arm below the shoulder I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards at this outer corner curve line across to the inner corner right there turn it downwards on both sides and a curve line across continue the line of the arm downwards for the outer line and the inner line same as you could turn at the elbow for the inner line right here turn it diagonally upwards curve line across for the top of his glove and diagonal curve line upwards to the wrist for the inner line and for the outer line I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner right there continue the line of the arm at this outer corner all the way upwards towards his finger same as a good turn at the finger right there sharp turn back down and curve line downwards and copy the same shape of the fingers at this corner right here and another one and another one turn it downwards at the side here semi circle turn slightly inwards above his hand I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there and below that I'm going to draw a line across and above that a line across along the knuckle I'm going to draw a line across V shape across V shape and do that for the other fingers as well and along the finger I'm gonna draw a line across right there and another one at this upper point copy the same shape for each fingers right there curve line across at the wrist a line downwards in the middle point of that curve line to the top of his glove right there a curve line along the glove at this upper point and another one at this lower point at the side of his shoulder sleeve I'm gonna draw a diagonal line to the hand right there 
in another similar line upwards same as if it turns sideways to the hand now for the right side I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line for his shoulder outwards same as if it turn downwards at the side right there sharp turn inwards and slightly above that a curve line downwards sideways with a curve line and slightly downwards sideways to the sleeve a line downwards from the shoulder to the sleeve right there at that point I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape for his pouch right there and inside of that I'm gonna draw from the left at this upper point a line across and a line downwards from that line at the side I'm gonna draw a diagonal line to the right and downwards across diagonal turn back up and from the same point at the side a line across an upside down V shape in the middle point and across in the middle point I'm gonna draw inside of that I'm gonna draw a circular shape at that corner below that pouch I'm gonna draw a line downwards and another pouch with a rectangular shape below that at the side of his belt a line across at this top point turn it downwards at this upper corner a line across now on the left side of that pouch I'm gonna draw the buckle of his belt with a curve line across turn it downwards at the side sideways inwards turn it downwards sideways outwards downwards and across mirror the same shape again on the right side right here and inside of that I'm gonna draw a diagonal line at this top point in the middle and on the right side as well in a line across in the middle point copy the same shape again at this lower point and in between those two shapes I'm gonna draw a line downwards at the sides right there and a circular shape in the middle point at the side of that at this top point another circular shape and for the lower point right there as well copy the same shape on the right side on the at the side of the buckle I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there and on the right side right there as well inside of that I'm gonna draw a circular shape at this top point and another one at this lower point I'm gonna do the same thing for the one on the right and I'm gonna copy the whole thing at this corner right here on the left for the upper line of the belt I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there and the lower line of the belt at that point a line down at the side now for his second belt I'm gonna draw the buckle at the middle point right here with a rectangular shape with circular corners like that and inside of that I'm gonna draw on the left side here a rectangular shape and a similar one at this lower point along the edges at this inner corner I'm gonna trace the same rectangular shape again right there at the side I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at this corner and another one at this point right here and on the right side at that point for the line of the belt I'm gonna draw across a curve line at this top point and another one at this lower point and a line down at the sides now for the patterns of his outfit I'm gonna copy the same shape of the strap on the right side right here and another strap from that point across to the left to the middle point turn it downwards a rectangular shape and mirror the same shape again at this lower point and for the buckle a line up from the sides above sideways same as a good turn downwards at that corner and mirror the same shape of the buckle at this lower point continue the line of the strap to the left semi a good turn at that ending point and turn it back to the right below that I'm gonna draw a circular arch shape 
turn it downwards at the side, curve it outwards on both sides and back in, curve it back out again and mirror the same shape at this lower point. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a circular shape at this upper point and another one at this lower point. On the right side, I'm going to draw a strap with a curved line across and another one at this lower point. A rectangular shape at that corner, copy the same shape of the strap on the right, a circular line across at this top point, diagonal line to the right, mirror the same shape again at this lower point and a circular shape in this corner and here. On the right side of that diagonal curve line to the right same as it could turn back inwards diagonally at this lower point. Copy the same shape again above right here. The whole thing And along the side of the straps, I'm going to draw a line downwards from the top right there all the way down to his belt. On the right side of that, a similar line upwards and arch sideways to the right. Continue the curve line upwards, arch at that corner and continue that line all the way back up. On the right side above the strap in the middle here, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line right there and another one slightly above it and above that i'm gonna draw a line another diagonal line across and along that i'm gonna draw some short lines downwards right there and for the waist on the right i'm just gonna extend this line downwards to the belt now below the belt at the side i'm gonna draw some leaves with a curve line downwards triangular niche at that corner, continue the curve line downwards and some triangular niche along the way, sharp turn back up at the tip below and I'm gonna do a similar shape of the leaf on the left side right there. In the middle of that leaf I'm gonna draw a line downwards, not all the way to the tip right there and copy the same shape of the leaves on the right side right here and on the left side as well and at this lower point I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side of the belt right here as well Now below the leaves on the left, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line downwards, sharp turn back up at that corner, continue the curve line outwards and down, and sharp turn back upwards, sharp turn back down, and sharp turn back up at this outer corner. Turn it all the way up back to the leaves on the left side right there. And inside of that shape, I'm going to draw another curve line diagonally down at this corner sharp turn upwards, sharp turn back down diagonally, sharp turn back up, and sharp turn back down to the side. And right below the leaves, I'm going to draw another line downwards right there, sharp turn back up, and I'm going to make a sharp turn down and upwards to the side. Below that, a diagonal curve line to the side, and along that, I'm going to draw some short lines downwards randomly. On the right side, I'm going to draw a similar shape again, right there. Now in the middle of the pens, I'm going to draw a curve line across. And off center, I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line to the left, semicircle line right there, and a curve line across 
to the left. Another similar curve line across below that and a line downwards at the side. Copy the same shape again at this lower point and in between the two straps a curve line at the side. Continue the line of the legs below the second strap downwards, turn it inwards and down. For his knee pad, a curve line across, turn it upwards in the middle point, across and mirror the same shape on the left side right there. Now for the knee pad in the middle, I'm gonna draw a curve line across, semi circle turn at the side downwards on both the left and right, extend it downwards on the left side semi circle turn across with a curve line and turn it back upwards to that corner. At the inner corner, I'm going to draw a line downwards, diagonal turn inwards, and across a strap with a diagonal curve line to the left, turn it down at the side, and another similar curve line diagonally across, turn it upwards at this inner point. Above the strap, I'm going to draw a curve line upwards on the left right here and inside of that strap, I'm going to draw a line down on the left and on the right and a rectangular shape inside of that. Another strap at this lower point with a similar shape right there. Continue the line of the legs downwards and slightly inwards towards his ankle point and a curve line across at the ankle point, turn it downwards at the sides, curve line across at this lower point, and continue the line of the foot downwards on both sides, turn it diagonally inwards at this lower point, and a curve line across. And at this upper point, an arch curve line across right there, another one at this upper point with a triangle shape in the middle point and back to the side. Now for the right leg, for the inner line, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards, diagonal turn out and back inwards, downwards, diagonal back out and inwards. Turn it down and turn it inwards. For the knee pad, I'm gonna draw a line upwards at that side, diagonal turn in and up, downwards, and semi circle turn upwards in the middle point. The curve line across at that corner and turn it downwards. For the knee pad, the semi circle corner right there, turn it across, semi circle turn back down and slightly inwards. Another curve line below that downwards and turn it to the left and semi circle turn back up at that corner. Continue the line of the leg pad downwards on the left here. Curve line across to the front and turn it back upwards at this outer corner. At the back here, I'm gonna draw a line down and a curve line across to the leg pad. Copy the same shape again at this lower point and a curve line downwards below that and across to the right. Below that, another curve line down and flare it slightly out below that and turn it back inwards. Now for the front part of the shoe, I'm going to draw a cross curve line right there. Turn it diagonally down at the front point, curve line across and diagonal curve line at the side. Continue the line of the foot downwards, diagonal turn at the front right there, same as a good turn back to the left at this lower point and turn it diagonally up at that corner downwards and across to the heels arch curve line at this front point and turn it downwards at the side copy the same shape as the left shoe at this corner right there and in between his legs I'm gonna draw the lower part of his cape with a line diagonally down from the left across triangular niche across and turn it upwards to the inner line of his left leg diagonal turn back downwards sideways downwards across a triangular niche at that corner across and turn it back upwards 
and sharp turn back down and across inside of the cape I'm gonna draw a V shape right there on the left and a upside down V shape above it copy that same shape again at this right corner and for the line of escape I'm gonna continue it upwards on the left side right here diagonal turn inwards upwards back out and up and out now below his belt I'm gonna draw some ripped off clothes with some uneven line right there and an oval shape at this corner on the right thigh I'm gonna draw a tilted square at that corner and along the side of that I'm gonna draw some short lines like that and from the top left corner of that square I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line to the middle of his pants and along that line some lines downwards and at the lower corner I'm gonna draw another curve line out to the left and along that line I'm gonna draw some short line downwards like that now for his right arm I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards from the sleeve right there and another curve line downwards diagonally to his wrist and for the inner line of that arms a similar curve line curve line across at the wrist and another one slightly above that for his hand extend the line outwards and down sideways same as a good turn downwards sharp turn back up same as a good line turn it up diagonally inwards to the knuckle sharp turn back down curve line downwards sharp turn back up on the left side curve line across to the left turn it upwards and back to the knuckles copy the same shape of the fingers again at this corner curl it up for this finger with a semi circle turn sharp turn back down curve line diagonal turn back to the right and up and a curve line upwards towards the wrist turn it inwards for his thumb I'm gonna take this point below the wrist and draw a curve line downwards turn it down same as good turn at that corner curve line downwards sharp turn upwards all the way back to the base of the thumb Along each finger, I'm gonna draw two curve lines similar to the left hand and on the knuckle, I'm gonna draw a curve line as well. Along his lower arm, I'm gonna draw some curve line across right there. That's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.